Yeah, thanks for that, Neeks. We're live outside the Emirates and I've got some Arsenal fans here. I want to hear their thoughts on the game. Let's go. So, that's, so what do you think uh, of the game today? Pants. <laughs> I was going to say, the game was pants. You know what? You know what? To be honest with you, apart from the goals, yeah. I mean, our performance, right, we, didn't, we gave away the ball too much. But it was a good game. I'm talking about chances and stuff. The only thing that was missing was, 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 was goals. There was goals. It was end to end. It was, definitely it was end to end. It was end to end. Do you know what I mean? It's like a basketball match. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the only thing is, like, we just gave the ball away. You know what I mean? We gave yeah. the ball away too easily. Especially that first half. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They had so much shots. It was all over us. It was all over us. Like a rash. It was just. Like... It was a bit of a ner nervousness because our, both our centre backs were out injured. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We didn't look, we didn't, didn't look comfortable. Yeah. Didn't look comfortable at all. And like, and the thing about it is, this Liverpool, it's, it's an average team. I think today showed that we still have a lot of cracks in the team. Uh, to be honest, I think we need to bolster our defence for at least two, two signings because, you know, centre back Gabriel and Chambers, I'm not really confident that will take us to the league. And I think we need, when Koscielny and Mertesacker are out, you know, we need someone else uh, with experience here yeah, to come in and you know do the job for us. Yeah. Do you think maybe a leader we need in the team? Yeah, I think Arsenal at the moment lack leaders. I mean, and plus you know we've got too many lightweight players in our team, and um, I, I can see that Coutinho during the game was bodying off players. Like that. I mean, we should really should have you know we should be going out in the market and buying players like Kuchovia to step in there because for years we've been lacking leaders since ever since Patrick Vieira left and to be honest it's ridiculous I mean 12 seasons now without the title I mean it's not good enough yeah. it's the first half Liverpool the better side they have a runner to midfield hit the bar twice can't argue yeah. check kept us in the game yeah. setting off you know like I said it was a bet, much better performance yeah. you know Ozil was calling for the ball a lot of people are going to slag off Giroud yeah. alright bottom line is, is that you can't, we're not getting Benzema Benzema's already said he's staying at uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, it's yeah. over. Let's yeah. just make do what we got. Yeah. We can't just. We don't even think one more. Even someone else. Well, yeah, not right. You think you're right. You think someone else. But you would have thought that if, if he's gone for Benzema all season, then he's clearly not looking at anyone else. I don't know. He's never. It's also been the media. I've never seen him say, "I want Benzema." Like yeah, he's, ne he's never denied. Yeah, he hasn't. He's, he's never denied it. Yeah. Like we've heard talk about Carvani, but then again, so is uh, Manx looking at him as well. But yeah. the bottom line is, is that we're not going to win a title after three games. And we're not going to lose it after three games. And the, bo the bottom line is, it was a great game of two halves. Petr Cech earned his money today. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you say we can't lose it after three games, but end of the season, if we fall off, if all we right. lose the league by five points. All right. He's, he's all all right. Can I ask you a question, right? Yesterday, when Chelsea Chelsea won yesterday, yeah. do you hear anyone on Chelsea fan TV saying, oh, we're not going to win the league because we've only got four points? When you haven't won the league for 10 years, yeah, you you got to, you got, you got to, there's, nothing go, you, there's nothing to go on. Chelsea won the league last year, so they, they can lose one or two games and think, you know what, we can still win the league. Yeah, we haven't won the league in 10 years. Yeah, yeah, and you know, there's a, reason, there's a reason why we haven't won the league in 10 years. It's because we haven't got, was we haven't got a complete midfielder. Wenger's never replaced Patrick Vieira, yeah. and he decided to build Sarah for, so for Fabregas. They went well, didn't it? Yeah, it's a simple reason. It's like, you know, everyone talks about, you know, Fear, Fear Walcott and you know, Oxlade coming on. But you know, the day, in the last 10 minutes, you couldn't get him in the game. Yeah. Think about the starting team, like Oxlade Chamberlain on the bench again. Oh. Fear Walcott not starting. Walcott, man, what are they playing at, man? The men's a Ferrari. The men, like, he grills, he grills wings like his Nando's. <laughs> Man, I mean, we we do we do we do, we do, we do get, get 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 bloody uh, keep him on the bench. Yeah, that's the thing. I think you know it's, it's fifty, aka Mr. Nando's. <laughs> get Mr. Nando's on from the start, man. Yeah, that's, I, think, I think it's harsh judging him on the you know twenty minute performance every game. I think give him ninety minutes, maybe even start him on the right wing. See what he's it's proven, man. Yeah. When you when you start walk up, things happen. Yeah, it's proven. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like I know he's with Giroud and that and the thing about. It. But come on, man! It's a big game, man. Like you know, you know, Walcott's a big game player. Yeah, yeah. You got to get the when, they, when it comes to the big games, bring him on. When you get the top four teams, bring him Walcott from the start. Would you start him in place of Giroud or maybe Ram or Ramsey? Like, me, I've, I'm always, I've always been an advocate for Walcott. Yeah. Always, I've as always a striker or as a winger. Striker and a winger. Do you know what I'm trying to say? He can come through. He can, he can come through. He can play through the middle. He can go. Whatever happens, he scores goals. Yeah. He makes such an impact to the game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Why would you not? Why would you use that? Why would you not want to use that that facility you got there yeah. and use Giroud? Yeah. When Giroud, right? Yeah, Giroud against the big teams, he's not really a great big big, big game player. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to think about that. Do you know what I mean? Rude, yeah. When it comes to Stokes, when it comes to the to the Tun Sunderlands, and when it comes to them sort of teams, yeah, Giroud's the man. Yeah. When it comes to the, 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 the Liverpools, the Chelsea's, the Man Cities, 
all them big teams there, right? Because Liverpool are a big team, do you know what I mean? We've got yeah. big rivalry. You've got to use Walcott. Walcott's proven against them sort of teams. It, you know what? It wasn't as bad as everyone's made out to be. The first half, yeah, I was pissed. I was yeah. like, what's going on? We hit the, they, the post after 10 seconds, yeah. Pear Check kept us in it. Yeah. But second half, we kept ourselves together and yeah. we, we actually played all right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we weren't as clinical as we should have been going forward in front of goal, but everyone's, I think Giroud's just been made as, as a scapegoat. Yeah. Every time we don't score a goal, it's Giroud's fault. What about the rest of the team? Yeah. So, I mean, so who else? So you look at today's performance, you think, we didn't win the game, and you, okay, you're not going to go at Giroud. Who would you go at? Who would you say? Straight up. How many shots did Sanchez have on goal? I don't Can know. you tell me? I don't know. Did you watch the game? Yeah, yeah, I watched it, yeah, yeah. None. None. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that one, yeah. He's a big boy signing 33 million from Barcelona. Scored all them goals. I'm just saying, I yeah. love him. He's a yeah. great, great he's, player. He's a, he's a workhorse. He's a he works hard. Yeah, yeah, but we're not. Coquelin's there for workhorse. Yeah. He's there to produce magical moments, score goals, winning goals, etc. Okay, so, what's your thoughts on the game today? Uh, I thought uh, Arsenal just boring, so predictable every single week. I mean, two two games at home where we went and we had to to break two average sides down. Yeah. So it's just it's just a joke. Like w w if we want to be challenging for the title, we can't even beat Liverpool. It's so, laughable, mate. So, it's who, laughable. so who was it? Whose fault was it? Who who Giroud, he Giroud is just awful. I'm sorry, he's one of the worst centre forwards I've ever seen at this football club. He is just a fucking. He's just watching him is so aggravating. Yeah. You want to work. You want to win a title. You need to have a world class centre forward. That's the position where you need a world class player, and we haven't got that because he is so far off being world class. It's, what, it's a joke. What about Theo and Theo and Oxlade? Oxlade Chamberlain is he's my favourite player at this club. He's absolutely unreal. So what why, why can't he, why can't he start? What's the issue? I don't know. Like I mean, what, Ramsey, he's bang out of form. Why is he Why is he starting him on the wing? Chamberlain is a mile better than him on the wing. Yeah, See, my my opinion is that. Ramsey is a centre midfielder, yeah? yeah. We've got Cazorla and Coquelin in that in that position. So, you know, he can't make it into the squad in my opinion. Yeah. He's playing right wing when we've got yeah. Oxley Chamberlain and Fia Walcott. Like so yeah, it's, it's players like Ramsey that annoy me, like one good season and like they're putting in shit performances week in, week out. Like, yeah. I haven't seen Ramsey do something good in weeks. Yeah. Months even. Yeah. Like what's going on? These players need to wake up, they call them I they think like they're world class and that. <laughs> on the positives, pet a check. Came, check. finally oh, finally came through. Petr Cech, what, what a game today. I was disappointed with him in the first two games, but what a performance today. Two amazing saves. And um, oh, I'm pleased for him. Hopefully this can, this can kickstart his career. So what John Terry said, 10 to 15 points he could get us. Is that number one? That, that's, that's, that, that's number one. It should be number three. Should have been number three, been number three but... Uh, he can only do what he can. He can't score the goals as well. Though, no, right? it, yeah, he can save the goals, but I'll tell you what, Arsene Wenger needs to fucking stick his hand in his pocket and buy a striker. Because it's, if every, everyone here knows if we don't sign a striker, it's game over, it's title chances over, it already is. We are so, so, it's, it, it actually, it, it pains me, but it's so laughable how far off we are. I was sitting next, you, you, sit, you sit next to people on this ground and they think we've got a chance to win the title. Yeah. So there we have it. We got some of the views from the fans and what they thought on the game today. Bit of a drab performance in the end, nil-nil, not the result we wanted, you know. Some of the fans were saying it was Juru. Someone was saying it's Arsenal Wenger for not picking Oxlade and Fia Walcott. You know, Petr Cech had a great game we saw. He's finally worth the money that we paid for him. Me personally, you know, I think we should have done a lot better. I think, you know, coming to this game, I was expecting three points, nothing less, you know. But end of the day, with our two defenders out, keeping a clean sheet, you know, I was also expecting us to concede, so it was good in the end. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>